You're watching the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. 43 to 10, the final at Bird Stadium at College Park. Maryland wins their season opener in convincing fashion over Florida International. With Brian Stan, West Durham, interesting ball game here. The Terps had some questions coming into the campaign, answered most of them here today. The biggest question was what would C.J. Brown look like? He has not been hit in spring ball or in preseason camp. The first time he was hit today, he got it done through the air and on the ground, West. Brown responsible for five touchdowns. He was fantastic in the first half, helping Maryland big build a big halftime lead. He really executed this system well. He continually found the open receiver, put the ball in the money, but he also looked great on the ground. We wonder had he lost a step since he tore his ACL a year ago. No, he did not. He had over 100 yards rushing. And look at this beautiful throw to their new weapon, Dion Long, right on the money. And, and they're taking, taking care of these mental breakdowns here by Florida International. Hits the open receiver and another one on the ground for C.J. Brown. He looked fantastic. Today, Brown West. responsible, by the way, Brian. 386 yards of total offense in this big win. A lot is also expected in this preseason of Stefan Dix, the sophomore from nearby Gaithersburg. He delivered today as well. He certainly did. You know, they wanted to get him the ball 15 times. I'll tell you what, I don't know what the score would look like if they did. Here's his touchdown catch. Beautiful balance and athleticism in space, and nobody's catching that man from behind. A wonderful day for Stefan Diggs yet again. Well, Diggs, just a tremendous play. 66-yard touchdown that really kind of closed the deal for Maryland in the first half. Brown, Diggs, Deion Long. Brandon Ross, Albert Reed all contributed. The defense played well uh, for Randy Edsel, but as he indicated, some things to work on uh, going forward. There were. There were some red zone issues earlier in the game. They didn't capitalize on some turnovers they should have. They had a few turnovers of their own and special team turnovers, but overall, it looked much more like a program that was in sync with both the defensive and the offensive systems. Old Dominion next week for the Terps, 43-10 to the final at Bird Stadium. Maryland beats Florida International. You're watching the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.